Hey there, Ron and Annie and the Car Doctor, talking a little bit about some diagnostics. 2000 Toyota Avalon came into the shop this morning, and it had a P0171 fault code. Ended up going through, finding the mass airflow sensor was out of calibration, and I'm going to show you how I proved it. Also, take a look at the air filter. You can still see a light through it, but I'm going to show you how even... See, it's dirty, but it's not super dirty. But this air filter still made a difference in mass airflow sensor results, and I'll show you that also in this video. Now keep in mind, or let's start the conversation here. It had a P0171. Keep in mind that this is a V6. Why didn't it set a lean fault code for both banks? Because when I looked at it on a scan tool, and the scan tool of choice today, and fast becoming a favorite here, is the launch pad 2. I used the launch that you see here, worked really well, did everything I wanted it to do. And one of the things I was looking at, to go back to my original line of thinking, is I looked at fuel trim. Looking at fuel trim for both banks showed that bank one was running a little bit leaner than bank two, which is why it set the code first. Let me show you what I did. And it's nice. The pad two, okay, the X431 pad two, gives you the ability to do a printout. I did a printout that's, well, you're going to see all of it in a couple of seconds. So here we go. Let's run the numbers. I did a calculated load test. Calculated load is a measurement of how well the mass airflow sensor is reporting or correctly reporting air intake. In this case, and, and the test here is you bring up calculated load, and you go do a wide open throttle acceleration. You're looking to see a typical calculated load value between 90 and 100%. The best this car would do was 61%. And you can see, here we go, this is where I hit it. I went to accelerate. If we look at the next, here's engine RPM. I was at 5,700 RPM or 5,300 RPM, a little bit over that, 5,700 RPM. This thing was screaming. The most it would report was 61%. All right? I'm thinking this is a mass airflow sensor issue. I looked at vacuum leaks. I looked at air fuel ratio sensors. They checked out. Fast forward down the graph. I took the mass airflow sensor out, and I cleaned it. I now went up to 70%, and I did it repeatedly. It showed consistency. So it wasn't a one-time fluke. Every time it hit the 70 percentile, and the graph showed even. Here I am on my acceleration. 54, my RPM pulls are within a couple hundred RPM of each other. So I'm pretty consistent. That told me, that 70 percentile tells me, I've got a mass airflow sensor problem. It's under-reporting or incorrectly reporting the volume of air being ingested. Fast forward. Here I am with a new mass airflow sensor in the vehicle, in the 92 percentile on a consistent basis, two hard pulls, one a little under, one a little over, 92 percent. I then, and here I am with my RPM, 5,300 over 5,300, 92 percent, proving that the mass airflow sensor needed to be replaced. How about the air filter? That's where this conversation started, right? Let's go down the tape. Changing the mass airflow sensor produced two pulls, 2% 2 higher. I wouldn't expect to see a drastic difference, but I saw a difference. That proves, A, the mass airflow sensor was bad, and B, the air filter needed to be replaced. So cleanliness isn't the only thing to judge an air filter by. Keep in mind, too, replacing that air filter, I used a good quality Denso piece because I'm looking to maintain OE quality and fit. Denso does make a great air filter. And that's what I put back in this Toyota so that it would maintain the level of performance for the life of the customer. So just some tips on what to look for. I hope you got it. You want to see it again real quick? Here it is. We went from 61% calculated load to 94% calculated load by changing the mass airflow sensor and the air filter, diagnosing it with 
the Launch X431 Pad 2. Ron and Annie and the Car Doctor out. I'll see you on radio.